Good morning, children. Today we will discuss about third parts of speech, verb. Verbs are words that show action. Or action words are called verb. They tell us what people, animals and things are, what they have and they do, think, say or feel. For example, to play, to sing, to dance, to jump, to sleep, to run, to walk, etc. All these are verb. Let's see the sentence. The farmer planted wheat in the field. In this sentence, farmer is a noun and planted is a verb. Why planted is a verb? Because the action done by farmer is planting. What farmer is doing? Planted wheat. He has done something. So whatever action we do or we show, that action is our verb. So in this sentence, planted will be verb. Next sentence. I cooked eggs for breakfast. What I did? I cooked eggs. The action done by me was of cooking. Cooked. So cooked will be the verb here. Verbs change form according to the number of nouns they tell us about. My sister swims in the pool. This sentence is of singular noun. In this sentence, my sister is singular. Because we are talking about only one person in this sentence. So when the subject is singular, the verb will be plural. My sister swim in the pool. This sentence is of plural noun. In this sentence, sisters are plural. So when the subject is plural, the verb is always written in singular form. Sisters are plural. It means subject is our plural. So the verb is written in singular form. Focus on the rule. Always remember two things. If the subject is singular, the verb will be plural and if the subject is plural, the verb will be singular. Now let's discuss about main verb and helping verb. The main verb in the sentence is the main action focused while the helping verb helps to indicate the time of action. For example, Radha has done her homework. In this sentence, has is our helping verb, whereas done is main verb. In this sentence, has is indicating the time of action, whereas done is indicating the action performed by Radha, by the primary subject. And primary subject is Radha in the sentence, so the action performed by her is done, her homework. So, Done will be the main verb and has will be the helping verb in the sentence. We have to visit school tomorrow. In this sentence, have is the helping verb whereas visit is the main verb. Because have is indicating the time of action done in the sentence. Whereas visit is indicating the action performed by the primary subject in a sentence. So have will be the helping verb and visit will be the main verb in the sentence. This is all for today. More about verb. I'll teach you in my next class. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe this channel.